Hello, my name is Mordrem and today I'm going to show you how to break Weird West. Well, actually I'm going to show you how to get unlimited cash, tools, consumables and weapons. So let's get right into it. Bam! Tried that, has been abducted and you're out for blood. You dig out your trusty iron and go blasting. First we break some fingers, then we steal some keys in the looted city. And lastly we John Wick some bandits. The city is ecstatic, business booming, but we need supplies. So we just stand in the middle of the street, waiting for the night. We are vengeance. But first we need to get rich. Run down the street and enter through the front door of the DNB. Left side has all the armor, weapons and some ammo. Right side has the precious leather. This store does not restock, so just pick up everything and sell it to him the next day. He will never know. Rinse repeat for infinite cash. Now we need 10 lockpicks for the next part. Break into the pharmacy and grab all the psychedelics you can carry. We can take a detour to look into the sleeping dog's pockets for a small donation. And leave for the general store right next door. Don't even need a key, just open a window and roll in. Grab a shovel, pickaxe and some lockpicks. You can just leave the city, loiter, move a bit in between to skip time and do it again again. The shop resets after 1-5 to five days, so just enter and check the general store for lockpicks. There are just no consequences to this. No one will change the lock, no one will barricade any windows, no one will investigate. You will never need to buy anything again, but you are rich anyway. Now we are ready for the main course, the local gun store. This one is dangerous, so quick save. We sneak to the back door, sniff around and spread it open. There might be someone in there already, but we can sneak around them. The chest on the left side of the door contains regular weapons, and there should be one empty container in the middle of the room. This one has the good stuff, but only after we reach the next character. The pigman can loot purple stuff and the protector always gets one tier 5 weapon. You also get 50 rifle, pistol and shotgun rounds per reset and there is a cabinet there that contains explosives. Now we need to grab the key, open the bedroom door, sneak to the sleeping owner and grab his belongings. Now what can go wrong? Deputies and sheriffs patrol outside and look inside through the windows. The owner of the shop will also wake up shortly after you steal his keys, so you will need to leave before this happens. And there is also a resin you can save as a pigman that will stand in front of his bed and just never move. You can either leave him in a cell or recruit him as a companion to grab the key. Like before, you can just leave the city and loiter. Now keys reset once you start the next journey, so you need to grab them again. But anything else can be transferred to your next character by either storing it in a bank, your horse's inventory or any inventory of your choice. Nothing gets deleted, but you need to choose a companion that you can recruit again. For example, one of your main characters. What about armor? Good question. But I will answer this one in detail in another video. For now, remember all the cash we made? You can run across the map to grab a tier 5 vest and a tier 5 bow for around 2k in Fort Glen. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more previous reviews and guides. See you next time and bye.